face. AFC. Fucking hard. <laughs> Thank you, AFC. Thank you, Lathka. Fighting champions here for everything you do for us. I don't know what she does for us yet. She's only given us ringside. She's only hooked us up with swag. I know. She's only she came to your just bed. treated us And like we royalty. haven't done anything for her except for have people like this on. I know. What's up? And we're going to have yeah, her on, too. Yeah, Pop so. Belly. Well, you had her on, too. Oh, that's true. She comes on. And we're going to try and get more fighters on when the next season starts up. We're going to mm. try and maybe get... We can we, one side or the other of the main event of every fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every event. That would be fucking good. So. That'd be way rad. A few of the fighters that she's had has been signed by the UFC now. Yeah. So... We'll ooh. get to that. Well, let's, oh. run, let's run through our... Uh, I need to, I need to see your guys' list before because I always jump this. <laughs> I don't have a list. There is no list. This is on the fly, bro. Oh, okay. We haven't been on. The sh- we haven't been recording for three weeks. I have nothing to talk about. And nothing at all. And no list. No, this is going to be open forum. Just Blake me Slater. and my list, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you, uh, uh, Sarah from AFC, and thank you, uh, uh, Arctic Chiropractic uh, East Five Hundred Benson. Go down there and get yourself a Kraken. And looking uh, for some crack. <laughs> and then who else <laughs> we got? Craig. Who's the other guy? Who's, who's Alaska the other? Audio Works? Oh, yeah, Alaska. Oh, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Dude. Somebody, like, I don't smoke pot, but somebody blew some in my face a little bit ago, and it's messing with me. But, yeah, thanks, Josh Moss, uh, for hooking us up with music and stuff for our intro. And uh, look up Alaska Audio Works. He's really cool. And then we got a new sponsor. He's really He's cool. He's really cool. We got uh, <laughs> Adam Capicella, who owns... Uh, uh, Capo's Beard Oil, Alaskan I, Beard episode Oil. Episode 17, mm, he yeah, was on? Maybe. One with of him and Alex Von Dinklage? Yes. And, ooh, Von Dinklage. Mm. I love his name. He has an amazing beard. Do what he does. Both of them do. Well, actually, the other guy's not so Before amazing. I even knew who he was, I saw a video of him, and I was like, that's, whoa, that's amazing. He looks like a sp- uh, like he's wearing a Spartan helmet without a Spartan helmet. Absolutely. Yeah. It's redonkulous. And then we got... Um, but yeah, he he does uh, beard oil. I think he's going to be getting into some other kind of like hair tonic or something like that. But uh, you don't have a you guys can't because you're in the military. Not yet. One day I'm going to be retired and you're yeah, just going to let it go. You're just going to get fucking are you gonna grizzly go, Adams. Are you going to oh, go yeah. with like, like with that one? With like with what Adam has? <sighs> I hope so. You don't know what it looks like. Huh? You've you've been in the military so long. Well, you <laughs> you <I> haven't <laughs> been able to grow facial hair. Until well, it's just like the opposite the, for the us. Most, I, the most I, I ever had. I haven't seen about, my chin in years. What like five weeks of leave that I burned? So I mean it's. There's no case. Five started. weeks? Yeah. So what do you get out of that? Like a quarter inch or something? Yeah, about like that. Oh, that's not. So I mean, it gives me an idea. Of, you know, it lets me know if it's thick or not, but that's yeah. about it. It comes in, right? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You look a little gingery. Does your beard come in red? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, like, like yeah, what it I'm does. Saying, you look blonde, but I could, like, you know, a lot of people that, like. You have the potential blonde. to ginger out is what he's saying. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. What I'm saying. It is. You got red chest red. hair? Nope. You don't got any chest hair because you shave it. No, it's black. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I could have sworn you shaved your chest a couple fights ago. No. Uh, no. Oh, maybe I was just imagining. That's not a, it's, wow. My, what my are you thinking did. of? Like, I don't know. Does it get sweaty? Fight night. I wonder whose chest is shaved. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't, I don't go tanning as much as I used to, so it's probably, it gets darker. You're joking, right? I don't tan at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, like, was going to say. That, I was like, a that's mil- like a waste of money for you and I, sir. A dude, I, I, a dude. I, actually, I actually get crap for it because they see me on the posters and they're like, um, so you look a little white. Maybe you should talk to some of the like local tannings. And if you're not into tanning, maybe just get a spray tan. And I'm like, oh, fat. I no, I mean, uh, I guess I could, but I mean, it really doesn't bother me. Unless you're like, like I don't think I only think you could do that with chest hair and stuff like that. I think you would have to <laughs> shave. I think that stuff gets all matted up, right? Yeah, I think. And then you get all sweaty. It starts dripping. I, like I unless so. you're a bodybuilder. That is like, you know what I mean? That's shaving down and doing the yeah. spray thing. I don't think it's going to work for you. And not, not only that, when you get hit and you're up there, you're, <laughs> you're going to look like a melting freaking chocolate <laughs> ice cream cone. That sounds like the worst. Yeah. No, no. I probably just should avoid that. You probably should. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, here with us right now, we didn't even introduce you. I mean, people are going <laughs> to know by the title if, if they if they read it. But this is Jeff, the Sandman Sanderson. Yep. Say, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? What are you doing behind me, Chris? Nothing. Oh, yeah. He's taking care of the dogs. He's uh, just yeah. getting into character. You know, a lot of people yeah. were asking us, or at least asking me, Get into character. what we were, what we were going to do after your last fight. Because you were supposed to come on afterwards. Yeah. Uh, you were not feeling so good afterwards. No. Because unfortunately, you lost your belt. I did. At the, last, the Land of the Midnight Sun I outside did, yeah. of Coots. Dude, we were heartbroken. <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> me, me too. So what, what, what happened? Oh, let's... Can we walk through the fight? Yeah. Okay. So, so go ahead. Tell us from your perspective what happened. Uh, like, just like, just so, like the basics. And yeah, then... yeah. So, before uh, 
before like you know the podcast or anything like that you know i have to come to terms with what happened and kind of sucks you know but uh it's part of the game so i get that you Mm -hmm. know um so so we go into the fight things are going pretty good for the most part you know i mean nothing's ever perfect but whether i've won or lost all my fights always had something so that's normal so okay so be it that's life so uh, we get we get into the fight. Things are going for the most part you're, pretty good. You're, so you're I, fighting. I you're fighting Al. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. You're, you're fighting Al Matalvo. Yes. Yep. Uh, and and so he holds now the uh, light or the middle heavyweight. Yeah, uh, light heavyweight or belt, like, 205 pounds. Just, why do I say middle all the time? I said it on <laughs> Facebook, and so well, many people jump my stuff. <laughs> yeah, they did. They were all over you. Oh yeah. Well, I'm middle look heavyweight. Lighter. I get you, it. you do look lighter. <laughs> no. So so you're middle heavyweight, and you're going up against Al. And from what I was hearing, uh, from I can't even say their names. I'm not going to say their names, but they were saying that they 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 favored you, as far as to go in and, and do some damage because your ground game was so hardcore, and it didn't quite end up, up ending like that. So anyway, yeah. so I'm sorry. Go back. Yeah. So we get. We I'm get sorry to about the, it. What, what did I do? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you so, say sorry a lot. Shut yeah. Up. So we Shut get up. in. We get into the fight, <laughs> and uh, so my game was, you know, for the most part, okay. So we start standing. Um, We'll we'll use punches to close the distance. If punches work, okay, yeah, we'll keep going, right? If they don't work, or I do get close, well, then I'm not gonna I'm not going to not use an opportunity. If they get close, I'm going to grab them. If they stay away and I'm punching them, but I'm landing, well, then it's gonna work, right? And yeah. I'll keep punching. Well, he hit me first, and the uh, the first one rocked me pretty good. Yeah, and then that's the only downside is if you're in a fight and that first one is a clean shot and it rocks you the whole time I'm trying to play catch up right. for the rest of the time. And he's, he's still fine. And he hit me when we were equal. Now I'm behind and he's still, now he's ahead of me, you know, as far as, you know, uh, being, you know, being there right. and whatnot. So he hit me the first time and, uh, it rocked me pretty good, but, uh, he also got me whenever my feet were planted and I was shifting my weight. So he did a really good job with that. Timing was great. And, uh, so it knocked me down. Uh, I stood up immediately and cause I didn't want him to jump on me. Uh, and then, uh, found where he was and I just kind of stared at him for a second, a uh, l- little bit trying to clear me. Also, I wanted to see if he was going to just throw a barrage punching me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the first fight, that's what he did. I threw a punch, I hit him and he immediately fired back and then I just ducked underneath and then took him down. Could have done it the same way, but he was a little bit more composed this time, stood back and just waited. Right. And then, uh. So I'm like, okay, well, he he looked like he was trying to keep his distance for sure. Yeah, and yeah, he didn't want nothing. To yeah, do with he didn't want nothing to do that. And it seemed like too after that one shot, it's almost like you're like, oh crap, I got hit. And it's like this is kind of what Vern said too. But I was telling Vern, I was like, it kind of looked like he was like charging in on him, you know, like trying to take him down with hits or punches. And I was like, I I didn't think that was going to be his strategy or whatever. But he was like, he was like, you know, once you get rocked one time like that, and uh, the only thing on your mind is hit him back. Yeah. And I didn't, and he, now I don't know if that's what you were thinking at all, but it's, it's almost like the, um, when Ronda Rousey got her butt whooped. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not saying whatever I, she, yeah, I know what w- once she got rocked, everything about standing back and taking her time in order to use her skill to take him down or whatever, take her down about to sneeze. <laughs> uh, it went out the window. And she was charging in every second like a bull trying to do the same. And I didn't know if that was with you, too. It's because that hit was just... Can I just add, though, that she she was bull rushing a accomplished striker and not to mention accomplished counter. But, so she but, was just moving backwards, pop, moving right. backwards, pop. Ronda was just handing her her face. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't think that's how you are fighting, like total no, no, reckless but, abandon. No, 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 I don't think so either. But see, Ronda Rousey, she's a uh, she's a great uh, – she, her ground game is awesome. That's where yeah. she gets people in, in her uh, submissions. Yep. So, And that's kind of like where you're at. Everybody's like, oh, we know how this fight's going to go down. Uh, Al uh, is going to throw a couple shots. Uh, uh, Sandy's going to uh, back up and then, boom, legs or whatever, and it's gonna the game fight's going to be over, which is what I was like. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ready for this fight to be over with. And I don't want to take anything from Al or you no. or anything at all because, like, Al fought, fought a great fight. Yeah, like he, he was did. keeping like this and was just like tag, tag, and it hurts seeing you get get hit like that. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, it hurt me too a little yeah. bit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like, luckily, yeah. Well, uh, ours was our pain was emotional, which runs deeper. Yeah. Sir. yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, physically, I actually 
I, I didn't really get hurt. Uh, yeah, he rocked me, but it wasn't like he broke my bones. Right. Uh, or he, he tore a ligament or anything like right. that. Uh, it's mostly just, you know, like, wow, well, now I don't get to say that I'm the champ anymore, and it just – It know, hurts, it just, right? It sucks. You know? Dude, when, when he was hitting you, I've never seen anybody take a hit like you because when he hit – I thought for sure, and he did like what three or four times. He I mean, just I think, nailed you I think three times. He yeah. nailed you in the head. Good. Your your head went boom. You're like stiff neck. You took that shit. I mean, boom. I couldn't believe that you were taking it and still going. Yeah. And um, and I was like, well, man, there's still hope, man. There, I was like, there's still hope. That dude's got it. I mean, I well, mean, if he could take a hit like those first two, I mean, yeah, the first one. Like, those was the first one that put you down. Uh, like, and well, then you got back up. Yeah. Well, I. So with the other hits, he hit me, and I fell down too. The other ones were a little bit more off balance. They were still solid hits. Uh, you know, he uh, did well, but uh, I was rushing a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So when he hit me, it, it threw me off, and then I just stumbled a lot more. And uh, that's what happened on the last one. He hit me, and as soon as I went down, you know, the ref thought, or uh, Paul thought, he's like, okay, he's out. By the t- and, you know, he's not very far away with us. You know, he, he thinks that, you know, um, all right, he's down again. Here I go. By the time he got to me, I was already back up and right. ready to fight again. And, and there was no, yeah. And yeah, uh, I was. he looks at me and he goes, oh, I, I'm really sorry. I go, what What happened? I go, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not confused because I was out. I'm confused because the, the amount of time I have in my head of how long this fight's gone, it should be longer. Did I, did I go out and, and, uh, and the, I, a lot more time has gone by? Like, have I forgotten part of the round? He's Holy like, snap. He, he goes, no. Uh, he goes, no, no, you're right. Um, I, I, I think maybe I made a mistake. Uh, I thought you were out, uh, but you, you popped back up before I even got to you. Uh, and now I think you're fine. I'm like, well, God damn. I go, I, so I go, but you were trying to protect me. And he goes, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, that's, I, that's what had. I was looking for. And if I would have seen that you were popped up immediately, he's like, I would have let it go. Right. And I, I was like, you know, and then I'm, now I'm just kind of confused. So I'm like, so you're looking out for my safety? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, okay, I mean, well, that, that's, that's, that's important their, to me. That's their job. I mean, that is his and, job. And it's hard when that shit is happening. It's like, right. You and, know and what he, I mean? You, yeah. He's making a split second this exactly. decision on whether to yeah. call it or not. And then for him to have the cojones to go on Facebook the next day yeah. and then admit. Oh, yeah. Publicly apologize. And, for and that apologize. Shit. I was like, whoa, this dude's rad. Paul, you're the man. I mean, that was that was amazing. I I, I get I'm, mad I'm not surprised. I was one in the crowd where he actually told me, "Dude, calm down," because I well, was like, he was expletives. He was f- a fucking motherfucker. Yeah, he was fucking looking at me. He was like, <laughs> "Dude, Sarah's gonna kick us out, and we'll <laughs> yeah. never be able to come back." <laughs> He's like, "That call was bullshit." I was oh, like, mm. dude, I was lit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I mean, but and it's it, it's hard to tell. And like, uh, I know that that in fights in the past that what. The ref is seeing, he's seeing dudes' eyes roll back in their head. Yep. For a split second, even if they do get back up or like, you know, whatever, it, it's, it's, a, it's a sign that the stuff needs to stop, you know? Yeah. He's looking out for your, your number one. Yeah. And, well, and I know. I, I think it's just because when I got up, he's like, oh, you, you know, now that I see you. I, so I did he, he say that right fun. then? He said it right then, but I could be a little bit off when I say, I mean, I did just get hit, right? Right. So uh, to my best of my knowledge, he could have that, said. <laughs> that, 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 w- that was what he said. And, and, and I, I thought that's what he said, cream. and then and then he dude, your butt tastes like yeah. strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? yeah, I knew. Yeah, and then the next day he messaged me on Facebook uh, publicly, and, publicly, and and, and uh, said he's like, hey, uh, I think I made a preemptive call, and I think I think I cost you your belt. Uh, you know, I just want to say I'm sorry. And he, even if he was 100 percent right, and and uh, he yeah. saw my eyes roll back or something like that, for him to do that, uh, especially as a ref of the fight. Um, you know, I don't know. It's, to me, it just meant a lot. Yes, respect, know? yeah. So, you know, I appreciate first first and foremost that him and Pino, he's uh, ref uh, many of my matches as well. Whether I won or lost, they've uh, always looked out for me. Yeah. And I, they do a great job. Yeah. And, and, and too, how he mentioned in there, he's like, I don't want to take anything away from Al. Because, yeah. he, dude, I, he was on spot. He, he did he a great, he he looked great really job. He did look really good. Yep. He did. Um, he, he moved well. He, he yeah. practiced really hard. Uh, he told me after the fight, because, you know, we talked – I. I like to be friendly with whoever I'm yeah. talking with. I can fight anybody. It doesn't mean I have to hate you. It's just competition. Right. You know, uh, just it's like, like a when I game of pool somebody, yeah. with a lot more blood and. Yeah, like when it, you <laughs> spar hitting somebody that's hitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you spar somebody in Taekwondo, you don't hate them. You just, you know. No, you, I don't hate them. No. And then, Even when and they then, almost kick me in my nutsack, I don't hate them. <laughs> I walk it off and you we might give them a keep look. fighting. 
And then oh you're yeah. Fine. <laughs> you know, hey, the, hey. the finger. <laughs> Dude, that's a and that's a uh, that's something too. Is like getting in the head. That ain't no joke. I mean, however. Yeah. That isn't to say that there aren't rivalry rivalries oh, that build sure. up that you they they do happen. absolutely emotionally cannot stand the so person do you know, standing across from you. Do you know anybody you. in a- a- AFC but, that's that's like that? Like super grudge match? Yeah. yeah Has anybody you got come the out inside and, scoop, man? Who wants to uh, fight? Who? We'll get him here on the show. Oh man. Oh god. I don't. I don't, would kill. I know us. only like one sided <laughs> ones. Like I know Potbelly. I don't know the other people that call him out, but when he you know he talks, hey, I have a fight coming up, or he is on a radio show. People will call up and be like, "I want to fight you, Pop Belly." Oh yeah, and people don't like him. So like, people hate him. Which, I mean, I, I oh, dude, I do not hate you. I, when I used to stand in the uh, sit in the stands, you know. Yeah. And uh, and people back there just they hate him. I don't know what the hate. Yeah, I don't is. see here. I don't. I, uh, I don't may, see how he has know, like maybe this villain persona. Like in the WWE, you got your villains and your good guys. Oh yeah. And you, you know, like, he needs to come out. He's starting, like the Undertaker yeah. when he was he a needs, bad guy. He like, needs to come out yeah. dressed all and, in unless, a costume. Unless, he, like, yeah, that's it. unless the whenever he's not with the ring. Maybe uh, when he's not in the ring, he's uh, uh, just a big super villain or something. But whenever nope. I met him, he's been no, he's super, super cool, super nice. And not only that, he's actually helped me out. Like, hey, uh, did you realize you uh, you know you did this wrong or you signed that wrong or hey, uh, you should go ahead and look at this, you know, yeah. or hey, there's a fight opportunity in Poland. Hey, uh, what? you know, I think you should take this. And he's you know, he no, helped me he, out. I don't he's, understand why people hate him. He's like the greatest I mean, guy. I don't and know. I've su- known him for years. So. If there's reasons people hate him, whatever they are, he hasn't shown those reasons to me, no, so no. I don't know what they are. Yeah. yeah I don't I've only him. seen reasons to like him. No, he's a super so. cool Damn dude. you, you're short and you're good at fighting and you're popular. <laughs> I fucking hate yeah. you. Yeah, and he's engaged. Fuck you. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. 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 congratulations, yeah. buddy. That's, yeah. We just ran into his his brother and a girl that's not his applause. girlfriend. That was fucking fantastic. Yeah, we got a studio audience of... Yeah, beer in your hand, whatever. That's our beer. Live studio audience. You spit that out and you clap. <laughs> Spit it out right here. I ain't gonna waste it. Baby bird. Let's go. <laughs> but no, uh but uh before the fight, uh I heard like you had lost your wallet. Yeah, that's and not, yeah, you <laughs> it's just a bad day. <laughs> yeah, he's like looking around every he had like but, Yeah, the, like I said, you know, a couple things go wrong. That's life, right? Right, for sure. Uh well I'm wondering, did and I talked to uh, your corner man. Um, shoot, I just lost it. Vern. Vern. Um, and he told me, he said you know that, mean, that when you were cutting weight, he said that it was different this time. Did, did you agree with that? As far as like, because he said like you guys were like going to like a sauna or. Yeah. And so Vern, Vern's been so awesome. When I've cut weight before, he'll sit and cut weight with me. <laughs> Not, not just awesome. like, hey, I'm out outside the door. I'll time you. Yeah, I know, like, no, I'm, I'm going to get in with hope. you. I'm going to sweat sweat with you. You drink water. I'll drink water. Well, you don't drink his water, wife I'm makes him do water. that because he's a little pudgy. No, he's not at all. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's yeah. in great shape. That's he's just been absolutely though. amazing. Well, because I mean, cutting weights a that's a mm. quite literally a drain. I've been trying to cut weight for years, and I'm still fat. No, well, you just get rid of all your water weight. That's ugh. oh yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Let's see. The day of the fight, I was two twenty. What so, were you? What were you the night before? Two hundred six. Yeah, six pounds. Yeah. So two hundred six shot up to two twenty. Yeah, you gained fourteen pounds overnight just in water weight. Yeah, water weight, a little bit of food. So what did they do with you going in? I heard about the UFC. They're they're talking about doing the the weigh ins the night of the fight instead of the night before. Isn't that something that's going what? on? What I, I read it or heard it like somewhere. right before. There's been yeah, it's something crazy like so that. they can't like from from what I've from yeah I, that's what I'm saying from what I've read. There's been. Various talks of different methods, but nothing's been like, "Hey, we're gonna do this," or like, "Oh, How we're about gonna you try just it. walk around at your natural weight, and that's what you fight at." You know what? I that's miss. What, well, the that's what I did UFC. last year until I started fighting guys that did cut fifteen and twenty pounds, and I was like, "I, I was winning," but I was like, "This kind of sucks. You guys are really heavy." I, I think maybe I should, really the heavy. original. Maybe I, maybe I should give it a try. The original first UFC before you know all this, you know, sanctions and all this other other crap. That weight got classes, in there. everything. It was Dude, not. There it was, was awesome, class. you know, because you got in there with somebody that shit was two hundred pounds bigger than you, and hey, yeah. fight. Let's see who wins. It's like putting a chicken and a bulldog in there, and boom, go. Yeah, from I, what got I got my money on the chicken. From what I saw yeah. is uh, <laughs> pick, 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 basically pick, they pick, needed pick. a way to make it a sport. <laughs> Yeah, make it marketable because well, people were to. like, "It's cage fighting or it's cock fighting," you know, as humans, and they're like, "All right, right. well, we have." Whoa, weight whoa, whoa. you guys whip your rules. cocks out! I will never watch your <laughs> shit again. I don't know. Keep the cocks in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> so they, yeah, so they you know came up with weight classes and rules, and they're like, "No, see, it's a sport." You know, we got well, refs, they they judges. had to do it. Any of this? Yeah. Any of this? No, I don't like Fireball. Do you want some Jameson? You want some Jameson, guy? You want some Jameson? This with this yeah, glass? that's what I really want. But I you well you bought it. I didn't want to open it. Oh yeah, no, it's I can't. 
Dude, I got to work tomorrow morning, oh. unfortunately. Thank you, man. I know. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, so, <laughs> uh, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. So, and, and that's, that's something else that pisses me off, too, about, like, uh, was the Vegas uh, gaming um, commission? The athletic commission? Uh, the, 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 the athletic, uh, yeah. Um, I don't understand it. I don't understand how in a state of pure debauchery, uh, hookerism... <laughs> Okay, uh, I, mean, Ooh, hookers, I like it. I mean, just I, I mean, gambling, you name it. It goes, it, you know, if you can do it without hurting somebody, you can do it. You know, yeah. goats, sheep, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but when it comes to taking performing performing in enhancement drugs, you're out. What I don't understand that. Don't well, that well, from what I, from what I've heard is uh that was mostly the well, they had done it, but then the UFC stepped it up and, and yes, hired, they did. Uh, uh, Nowitzki and well, to really go after it and, and, and clean it up. Well, they were testing for for marijuana. I mean, they still do. Yeah, but they don't test marijuana now for employees of UFC. Yeah. So, like you know, like we talk about Joe Rogan all the time. Joe, oh, yeah. like he he pretty much told Dana White, "You're not UA in me for marijuana. I smoke pot. I mean, yeah. he smokes pot all the time. He smokes pot on the show. He smokes. I mean, he don't care. Yeah. Um, but I don't know the whole thing with with Jones." Uh, for pissing hot, for pissing, whoa, for pissing hot. Yeah. Did you you see? Did you see all that? Yeah, I haven't heard uh, an official report of what it could be. I heard a lot of speculation between performance damage drugs, uh, other stuff for cutting weight, and other stuff for cocaine or or some sort of uh, hardcore drug. But I haven't heard anybody say, "Well, it's this or it's in this category." No, they got a what they said. What, what did they say? I can't remember what they said as far as they didn't say he pissed hot or anything else. They said. Um, there might be traces of, of a sub uh, poor performance enhancing drug. So might I, I, be. Well, I don't. Well, they, well they what, what they do? Shit, what they do so. is if they have a suspicion, yeah, or a certain count of whatever, then they start digging into his his piss. I don't know if blood or whatever else. Oh yeah, I know that. I know every time they do a test, they <laughs> piss keep, blood. They keep we're gonna extra. need a. We're gonna need a poo <laughs> How do you sample. Dig into someone's piss. <laughs> I don't know. Shoot, I found a needle in your poop. Have you been shooting? <laughs> oh, that's uh, pretty hardcore there. It's yeah, not it a is. suppository. You, you, <laughs> you, you inject it. You, inje- you fucking idiot. Inject it. You don't you stick inject it up your ass. No, that's my Viagra. <laughs> I take it anally. I but, just... Okay, can, <laughs> okay go ahead. You, we're talking about Jones, right? Mm-hmm. And the, the doping and all that. Mm-hmm. I just cannot believe that Anderson Silva is going to fight Daniel fucking Cormier. Yeah. At UFC Man. 200. Well, that yeah. We're like, leading up to what? that because after after he got out, Dan, uh, Cormier, was you know, he was really... You know, I mean, he put and in a lot of money. They actually aren't the main event anymore. Either. Yeah, because everybody no. always thinks that. Is it oh, Brock? You just, you just train really hard. Brock Lesnar is the main. Yeah, event he's now. the main. He's the main event with Mark Hunt. Yo, yeah. And then, uh, what do you think that's? What do you think that's going to be like? Yeah, what? Who's going to win that? Shit? Well, see, okay, this is what's <sighs> crazy. Before you answer, is this isn't airing till Monday, so this show isn't. W- this show isn't. So oh, okay. We need to make our predictions. But what do you think is going to happen? And let's see. I got the whole card here. If you want to go. Fight you want, for fight. Okay, right. fight for fight. Okay, so, what's the first one is? All right, ready? Rock. You ready? Let's all right. do this. Ready this? All right. Okay. <laughs> fight number one, Jim Miller versus Takanori Gomi. I'm going with Taka, Takanori. Uh, t- I'm going to go with Gomi. <laughs> yeah, me too. Gomi. I'm going to go with Miller. Okay. Oh, are, we, are we writing this shit down? Are we just going well, yeah, no, to have to? We're all going to have to watch our show but to figure it out. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't like watching you, this show. You guys don't yeah. stay up late and rewatch your own shows? Uh, actually, no, I have to wa- actually, I have to watch it a lot. You edit it? I do all the editing. Well, there's no editing. It's it's <laughs> like watching it process. One, well, like one camera versus the other camera. Which yeah, so I just one. switch back and forth. So, I gotta so watch he's got to sit there and watch and listen to the whole thing. And then if he's like, oh, man, I should have, he would have to go back and redo it if he saw something that he missed or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but he's got to watch the episode at least one time. Yeah, all the way through, so we can switch cameras. So you're the lucky one. Okay. Yeah. Something only, were, only because I suck. No, <laughs> no, not because I, of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm impatient, and I have not. Well, just sat I did down and done purchase it. a computer that can handle some. My computer. Some, don't you listen to him, little computer? <laughs> you Samsung or whatever you got. <laughs> it's a fucking a Toshiba. Toshiba. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, Is it Dell something? I got it. Uh, I don't even know what I got. Asus. Uh, Asus. Okay. Asus. Is that how you say it? I don't so, anyways, know. do we have a pen? Is there a pen? I want to write this down. I do. You want do to want to write it down. I do want to write. Oh it. shit! You, you guys are in the military. You got some kind of stabbing stuff back <laughs> in, in the truck. <laughs> we do, but that's the only one we're in uniform. Oh, okay. That's you know, right. you know, all right. I guess we're just gonna have to listen wa- to this. Watch right. when you ask that's a fine. military okay. person if they have a pen, and watch it, at least in the Air Force. Watch them look at their arm. 
Because that's, that's, that's where, where the pin holder is. That's where they are. Oh, okay. wait. Or they'll reach for it, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. And I then there's that fun. always that one retard that starts digging in his butt. Wait, hey. Zach, <laughs> I got one here somewhere. Or that one guy who's like, <laughs> oh, I got one. Point <laughs> 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 <Avoid> leaving. <laughs> I got a pocket there's protector, a so my around. medals didn't stab me in the chest. <laughs> You sound okay. like a. Uh, you sound like a. Uh, what's his name on South Park? His cousin. I don't know what you're talking about. Who's who's cousin? Cartman. I basically not, sound not, like not, not Stan. Uh, uh, Stan's cousin. Kyle the Orlowski. The, yeah, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, his, Kyle. his little uh, his cousin. I, I basically sound like any whiny Jew. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much nailed it. <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> just. There's that one. There's like the Jerky Boys used to do a good one. Oh yeah, they did. Uh, oh, so, oh, can you uh, do that? What? What's the character on freaking? Uh, Family Guy, the with the red hair and the big butt oh, teeth, and he owns uh, the pharmacy. Uh, uh, Mort, yeah, yeah, Mort. I think that is actually one of the dudes that Do it. did. Jerky Do boys. give me some Mort. He might be. Give, that, I can't just give you Mort. Okay, give me Mort later. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you Mort. <laughs> You're gonna give me Mort. <laughs> Take these pills, you bastard. <laughs> oh, see, I always. Mix. Oh my god, I got this rash all over yeah. my ass, and yeah. I put the cream on it, and it just not <laughs> with working. my nipples. Oh. <laughs> oh my face. What, what was that? Oh. Oh, my, oh, my, oh my face. Remember when he's in the <laughs> stall and he's like. Shh. He's like, psst, psst. hey, hey, come in here, come in here, and you hear what? And he goes, I got, I got the dogs. My, 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 my toolbox is open. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I need help pulling this out. Come on in here. He's like talking to somebody on the outside of the bathroom. You ever watch that? No, I heard, see that one. Have you ever heard Jerky Boys? Oh, uh, it's been boys, a while. Dude, they're, oh, okay, they're great. I thought maybe you were too young. How old are you? Thirty-one. Holy crap. Shut the fuck up. I wish I was 31 yeah. again. Good Lord. All right. So I turned 32 this September. So All happy right. birthday. Oh, thank you. Fights. Who's winning? Okay. So you got Jim Miller. You we out? got Gomi. Oh, tacos. Oh, tacos. All right. Got to get tacos. Yeah, you can just go. It's understandable. Yeah, you can get some tacos. Unless You're, you want some airtime. You want your five seconds of fame that we're probably going to cut out anyway? Okay, bye. Okay, see you. All right. Gerard Mus. Gig- Gayard, <laughs> <laughs> that's Fitzy. Bless his heart. Yeah, I don't. Gayard Musasi versus Tiago Santos. Let's get to the main card. I don't want to go through every one of them. No, nah, you wuss. I don't want right. to go through. We'll go one. from Jose Aldo up. Oh, we'll go from Kane Velasquez. Velasquez. Uh, damn, Johnny Hendricks too. Holy shit. Okay, there's a. It's a nice. It's actually pretty good. Kate Vela- Kane. Kate. <laughs> you know, I feel that on, on <laughs> Caitlyn this card, Jenner. <laughs> they, they, they've advertised that it's UFC two, UFC two hundred. Okay, yeah, we get that, but. Except for the main event, the, there hasn't really been that much advertising on this. Like, right? I haven't, I haven't seen like like they, right. on Fox for Sports me, One. It's all over uh, there. Yeah. Facebook. Well, except for yeah. me looking up the card, I don't oh, yeah. know who. I would have no idea. Go to UFC.com. Boom. Well, That's where I'm at. Okay. Well, so right, okay. we're gonna just do the top four fights. Okay. All right, top four. All right, where, where are you starting at the bottom? Number eight. Oh, okay. Velasquez and Fight number eight. And, Kane Velasquez and versus Travis Brown. Velasquez. I'm going to go okay, Velasquez. Velasquez. Well, this isn't no fun. Only because How's it going to end? Be, okay, here's why. Because Travis Brown happens to be tapping. Happen to be tapping? <laughs> Is that what you say? Happen to be tapping. Happen to be tapping. <laughs> Ronda Rousey. He's, or, he's the reason she hasn't fought, she, fought She's yet. tapping him. One of the two. She needs to get out of her head. Okay, Jose Aldo versus... I'm sorry, Jose Aldo versus Frankie Edgar. I'm going to go with... You know what? I think I think Jose is uh, is still depressed from his last fight. <laughs> You think we're ready to get him, see him get beat again? Yeah. No. Well, Frank Frank Yeager, man, his footwork is so amazing. Good. I, I'm yeah. gonna go with Edgar. Win or lose, I'm an Edgar. Fan. I am also gonna go with Edgar, and it's not anything really to do with you know Jose. You know, he's a damn good fighter. I can't take. Is that it because he's from New York? And you, I'm thinking you like New that's like what happened with the uh, kind of a fluke. But Anderson Silva, he got beat, and then he lost the second fight. He did break his shin, you know, his tib fit. Yeah, yeah. But he still came out and lost, and he wasn't looking. Okay, he wasn't ba- looking very spider. So you're you're com- he can't come over, but you're coming over for the fights. Possibly, I haven't even asked Whitney about it. Okay, fine. Yet. Who wants to put money down? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Jose. I'll go with you, Jose. Oh no, I'll go Jose. It's serious. This is amazing. Betting. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll do it. We'll, betting we'll, is we'll illegal in the state of Alaska. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. it's all good. It's, well, it's, you can, you can stay always, on uh, Etbay. <laughs> well, you guys can always just trade beers. Well, that's true. Well, let's do that. Who, with who doesn't who doesn't love beers? We'll, I <laughs> bet you two we'll beers. trade beer labels. Okay, <laughs> it's as good as money. I'll trade you ten beer labels. No, just as long right, as so the beer labels are attached to the beer and they're full. Yeah, right, so right. we got. I really don't. I want to see Jose get hit again. Jose or Jose to get. Sorry, I gotta 
dog named Jose and I get Jose and Jose mixed up all the Jose Jose. It's spelt the same. <laughs> I know. There's no little <laughs> it's, the, yeah, the it's thing over the J. Thing. The it doesn't matter. It's, it's a hard J. So I'm gonna go for for <laughs> I'm gonna go for Jose, even though I I kind of want to see him get his ass whooped again. That's just me. Well, I, I was actually wanting and, and thinking analytically. Wanting, so. I want him to, but I, I really do think that he's gonna he's gonna perform. Yeah, yeah, I do. So, but I mean, I'm gonna, I see, I'm gonna still okay, go with that. Okay, it's your beers you owe me, um, dude. He has way less submissions. Jose, who? Jose does. Oh, because he Frankie. usually just pummels yeah. his people. Okay, Daniel Cormier versus Anderson Silva, dude. Which is new. This is rough because Silva is undefeated. Silva's um, at two hundred five. At I don't know, is he? You lost me real bad there, dude. They didn't even. He's thirty three and seven, so he can't be. Undefeated. Oh, never mind. He's, is he undefeated as a light heavyweight? Yeah, think, yeah. Because he fought as a middleweight. So yeah. If, no, I, mean, I know I think, he fought Bonner, and I know he fought Griffin. Yep. I don't know if he fought any other two hundred five matches. I don't know. That's hard to say. I really hate Cormier. I do too. Yeah. I hate him. I, I don't. I do passion. not like DC. Oh wow, I like him. I really why? Well, he's like a pompous him. ass. <laughs> well, I like him for a couple reasons. He he really One, is. I kind of favor wrestlers to begin with, right? So, mm -hmm. so you so <laughs> speaking <laughs> analytically, of course, right? Okay. Of course. So, so he he's a wrestler before, and then uh, well, he was an well, when I compare him to Jones, he was weren't he in the Olymp Olympics? Yeah, Olympian. And when Olympics I compare him, like, hi yeah, yeah, I believe he got third. Was mm. it bronze? He, don't get me wrong, he's a killer and he's a great fighter. And when he stood up against Jones. I was like, I was, I thought it was, over. I thought, I thought Jones was going to go out and just whoop his, whoop his butt. And that didn't, that didn't happen. I mean, I mean, it, yeah, it was in his favor, but not Cormier, but, um, Jones, Jones, but, um, I really like Jones, but I, I really can't stand Cormier. Just, well, whenever I saw like, their he's off a pompous, he, he's I a saw pompous their off camera ass. speak and they were like, and he was talking, he goes, he was in like, Jones, I'm going to expose you. You're fake. Everybody's going to see it. And I, I was like, I think, uh. I think there might be more to this. And then, you know, it kind of came out that, you know, he was uh, doing all this other stuff and, you know. What other stuff? You know, Jones with the. Oh, the know, coke and the yeah, and the, the drunk you know, driving and, the, and I was all like, this oh, stuff. this is probably the Sounds stuff like he's talking about. hell of a about. Saturday. Well, it could, it could be what he's talking about, <laughs> but, I mean, how, how would Cormier know that? Um, I mean, I, you well, know, they, I know people I know talking came, stuff they were, like that. Well, they were at the same gym for a while, uh, and it all started whenever he showed up. And Jones was like, who but are I don't, you? Get out of my face. I don't understand how, like, oh, so he was being a jerk, like, straight up? Yeah, so he's like, he's like, you know, not like, hey, do you know who I am? Not that kind of thing, but like, hey, I'm new. Hi, everybody. And he's like. And Jones was like, what? He's like, yeah, well, I'm the champ, so who are you? Oh, really? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, his head oh, you're going to fight 205? Yeah, I'm the champ. Bye. Whatever. Well, see, like, that shows that, him <laughs> with, his, with his actions and what he did. You know what I mean? Because I think. I don't know. To treat other people like that, there's got to be insecurities in there. And then when you, in his personal life, when he's away from the gym, I can see him turn into drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, what's what really like, uh, man, that's coming in and out. You hear that? Yeah. That's I ridiculous. Did. So like, um, uh, with his like, like acting to be like, um, really friendly and everything to like, well, he was with, with fans and all these other people just came off as being a really nice, really clean dude. Yeah. And then you find out, all the stuff that he did, and then you're like, I mean, it kind of hurts a little bit, but dude, we're all foul. Kind of remind me of when I was younger and I fr like watched my month. first Bob Saget stand up when I was a little kid. Uh -huh. I was like, he's so dirty. Oh, oh Bob Saget! <laughs> like, oh yeah, shit, yeah. You're like, oh, it's the Full House guy. Yeah. Oh, he's so funny. And then he yeah. gets on stage, and f you're like, whoa, whoa. yeah. You okay, I, I heard truckers in the dick? crowd like, hey, Holy you want to tone it down, shit. buddy? I yeah. Was like, whoa. Yeah. You brought my rough. kids to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dude from Full House. I brought my kids. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think his uh, his stand up suffered because of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, because people wanted to see Danny from Full House. Was I love his stand up though. Oh, you no, know, it's God. funny. It's great. It's fucking great. I love it, and a lot of other people love it. But back when he was doing that in like the early '90s, why do you think I don't he think did a lot it of though? People, he's like he probably not Check. being himself at all no he's he was not on full house he's not so yeah he's like I well gotta shoot. get this out somehow that's why yeah. he stopped uh doing um america's funniest home videos he couldn't stand it it's the stuff that that they were writing for him because he was so quirky and stupid he hated right, it right it's like he hate he fought cookie the cookie cutter bullshit yeah he yeah. fought the writers and editors forever just saying dude i do not want to do this and the it, same joke over and over the same fake laugh just, just, <laughs> <laughs> come on kids <laughs> all right, oh, all right. come over here and sit on my lap <laughs> whoa <laughs> Daniel Cormier, Anderson Silva. Daniel. From the heart, bro. 
I'm going to say Cormier is going to win. But you're rooting for Silva. But I'm rooting for Silva. I'm with you. I've been in that situation many times. I understand. I was, yeah. I, it's, it's a tough one. It's like I'm rooting for Anderson Silva it, because I cannot stand Daniel Cormier. I'm kind of like uh, the SNL know. cast, you know, super fans for the Dub Bears. Oh, yeah. Dub yeah. Bears. Uh, Dub Bears. Yeah, you know, but. it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> How many heart attacks is that? Oh, it's a baker's dozen. It's a baker's dozen. <laughs> it's a baker's dozen. <laughs> oh, I've only had seven. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're a 100% Daniel Cormier. We're, yeah. a, we're a, a begrudging we're a Dan- <laughs> Daniel Cormier. I, I hope whether... If it was whether, Jones, whether, like Jones, whether I'm Jones, right or along, yeah, me too. Silva, I mean, he, even though he's a cokehead, I love him. Well, if, there, if, if, if he was here fighting Jones, uh-huh. I was still going Daniel. Wait, if he... If Jones was still in, you'd if still Jones win? Was, yeah, I would still want Daniel to win. Well, you'd want him to win, but wh- who would you th- bet yeah, on? Yeah, that matchup. Well, think, That's different. Well, also in that fight, Daniel fought a lot different than the other one, and I think Jones really did get in his head. No, I, he, I, I think he affected him 100%. Oh, he effort. did. And uh, I think this time around, it's kind of like, oh, I've already been through the test once. All right, now. I've, so he's, he's prepared. I, I think he would, I think it would have been different. I got to say. At a minimal, it, even if Jones, let's say Jones did win, it would be a much harder fight at a minimal. Well, Jones's comeback fight was at 198, UFC 198, or 197. Anyway, a couple, couple UFCs ago. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't. I mean, it went five rounds. It was kind of, uh, you know, it was yeah. a ho-hum well, fight. It's, it's it kind of like he lost that, that, that extra bit of magic where he was, you know, on top, on top. I don't kinda think. Like when Ra- well, you know, he, said would, the, he said at the end, he was like, well, you know, he didn't say cage rust, but he basically said it's been a while and. Yeah, you know, but well, George think, George St. Pierre's talked about that. Talking about he's like, you know, ring rust is a real thing. You know. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, and, and a few other fighters have too. Well, I think he's on his way out personally. Who? Um, um, Jones. I think he's on his way out as far as if where he could big. get this win over DC and get but his title back and then retire. Drop, he didn't lose. Drop his, the fucking mic. Boom. <laughs> did they strip his title? You just won. What do you want to do? Yeah, they well, took his title retire, away from him after that that deal. Yeah, he lost his li- his heavy oh, heavyweight right. title yeah. and didn't lose it to a fight. It was like they stripped him of it. Yeah, that must have some shit. That must have pissed. And then Cormier Daniel off. Cormier fought. <laughs> oh, who did he fucking fight for it? Oh, uh, damn it! I don't remember. Um, it wasn't Gustafson, was it? No, no, no. Uh, he beat Gustafson. Um, that was a title defense. Uh, Anthony Rumble Johnson. Yes, yeah. yes, it was Anthony Rumble Johnson. So yeah, Jones didn't lose his title. So if he got it right. back, you know, after not actually losing it. Dude, just said, I retired. You know, and like Boom. I said, I don't yeah. like Cormier, Cormier, Dana White. But he really does look good. He, I mean, he's, I mean, oh, he now, was, now you're gonna flip flop. No, no, I don't no. like him. That's still the same. I still don't Mm-mm. like him. I think he's an ass, but he looks great. Like he really did put in a lot of time uh, uh, training for this fight. I, I like. I honestly, think one thing that also really made me like him is when he did that stupid funny song. I like cake and chicken. Oh, it was really corny. God. I just found it funny. Whatever. Okay. He, <laughs> we you don't know what? condone suicide. That's his, that's his white privilege coming out. Yeah. He can't joke about black people like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm surprised Black Lives Matter didn't get involved and just say, you can't be talking about, what do you say, chicken and what? I, think it was I can't cake. remember. Yeah, chicken, cake, and cake. chicken and cake. Oh, he probably mentioned other stuff in the I song, too. Chicken and cake. Are you actually going to pull that shit up? Oh, I am going to pull that <laughs> up. Do it. Because I'm pissed off right now. Okay. Last main event. Brock the Beast, I think that's his title. Lesnar versus Mark the Super Samoan Hunt. Well, it's going to come down to it. It, how has Brock actually trained, right? Because you know nobody even knew he was on this card. Until he looks good too. Let out. He does look if, fucking if, good. If he truly has got his, uh, was it dermaticulitis? I think that's how it was. It was diverticulitis. Yeah. yeah, diverticulitis. Which he doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> Which eh, understandable, but if it's no. tr- if it's truly fixed and he's been able to train and and eat and everything like he's supposed to, and he's got quote unquote the fire mm-hmm. I think he'll destroy him if but Mark Hunt time and time again Dude, when I, you're can, like just plug yourself in just pause it time and time pa- again let us finish the deposit and you can we'll plug you in I can't help it <laughs> oh he's eating cake god damn it poi poi <laughs> pause it yeah time and time again though when you're we'll like yep, you Mark in. Hunt's we'll done he's done he's done boom it's, left hand it. knockout yeah. so it's like so you don't it, think it, he's it, got? You don't think he's there? You don't think he's got it? No, I, I, I don't know. I do as well. It, I'm really fifty fifty. It to me, it all comes down to is how well has has Brock Lesnar trained and how well has he actually done stuff? Because Brock Lesnar has shown once you hit him hard, he <laughs> covers up and he backs straight up, and, right. then, and then he's done. Uh, and Mark Hunt is good at hitting. 
So that's what I'm kind of worried about is like Brock Lesnar going to go out there. He hasn't been in the cage for a while. He's going to go out there and he's going to be kind of like, you know, super cautious and keep his distance and turn it into a Mark Hunt just plodding after him kind of fight. You know, yeah. like watching big countries fights nowadays. Yeah. It's just him just walking people down. Yeah. You know, the dude's a fucking accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. It, and it, he just, try, he just ever, walks people down and tries to get that big right well, hand. Well, you, ever, you ever seen his first fights? They're all submissions. Yeah. Just boom, 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 take Ultimate down. Ultimate fighter, yeah. I mean, crushed him. So, yeah, Mark Hunt, that's the last few fights I've seen of his, even the ones he's lost. It's kind of like that, you know. I'm coming after you. I'm going to hit you with this big hand. Uh, you know, and it, yeah. you're just like, uh. Well, you get kind of in a rhythm. And you're like, boring. Well, I mean, it's working. So, I mean, I guess we'll just, why change it, right? Do I look as old as Brock Lesnar? Yep. You suck. <laughs> you know, he's 38. He's only a year older than me. Yeah, but he's got a lot of muscle. Well, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of miles on his face, too. No, I, I would say you're a much prettier. You lie. Brock this, Lesnar's this, an angel. In this area. <laughs> Uh, maybe in that in area. In the facial area, you're much prettier. Yeah, his I, In the body area, I think you'll think your butt is much <laughs> prettier because I don't know yeah. about the V-shaped <laughs> chisel fuck, dude. dude. I can't do it. <laughs> That's think, me right there. If I'm going to be gay, I don't want to be manhandled by that guy. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck. He's going to tear something. Can fuck. you imagine going to prison and seeing Brock Lesnar as your cellmate? You'd be like, well, uh, this is well, a nightmare. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Shit, dude, just punch him in the balls and don't stop. Just <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Until I think his I was supposed fucking to get the balls chair. explode. <laughs> Yeah. I want top bulk, bitch. I think he, I think Brock Lesnar looks a little funny when he doesn't have a beard. Oh, wait, when he has fine. when he has a beard, I'm like, he you look right. like an actual Viking. Yeah, he does. If if I froze one and brought him today, that would be you. you we found your long lost uncle. <laughs> do you think? Great, he, great, 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 great. Do you uncle. think he regrets his tattoo, the that, sword, because it's gay? Which one? I, I, nobody's gonna the, the one, one on his, his chest. chest. I don't. Th- I don't think. I think that. I think he had a whole bunch of yes men around him. They're like, no, dude, it looks great. It looks great. And he needed one friend to be like. It's to- that's bullshit. It's totally yeah. contradictory to like the one that's on his back. The one that's What's on his one back, on his back is pretty sick. It's like a full back tattoo. It's like some demon face fucking ass. It's gnarly. the makeup for the sword or some or the, shit. The, the knuckle knife. And then tattoo. he got this one. He's like, I got this one to be more conservative. It almost looks like a fucking necktie. It looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks it, like a fucking necktie. If I was him, I wouldn't get laser removed, but I would do the spray tan. Okay, so <laughs> for <laughs> the record... <laughs> For us to listen to after we watch yeah. the fights and for you to judge yep. us by Brock Lesnar, Mark Hunt. I'll go with Brock. You're going to go Brock Lesnar? Yeah. Boy, boy. I, I like Brock Lesnar a lot, but I'm going to go with the other guy. Mark. I, You're going to go with Mark Hunt? I, still I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad call. I think he's going to win, personally. I think Brock Lesnar is worn. Dude, he's 38, man. Um, I know how I feel. If if, if, <laughs> you, if you're right, <laughs> if you're right, I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, fifty fifty, just like the last. I, one. I think. Uh, I think a lot of people. I wonder what, go the, I wonder what the odds makers are actually giving. I rooted. I rooted for him in every fight. Even no, no. Are you whatever. rooting for him? Or are you look? I'm rooting for Brock. I want to see him win, but I don't think he's going to do it. I'm rooting for Brock, and I think he's going to win. Okay. I wonder what the what the odds makers in Vegas are actually giving. Um, I wonder if it's pretty. They're getting, they got migraines like, so big no, right now. I bet. I don't think it's. I, I bet you. I <laughs> bet you. Every hour they're like, "Well, no, it's this guy." I bet ah, you. This guy. I bet you it's close. Phone calls at four o'clock in the morning. Hey, you need to change the spread. <laughs> I mean, how was it with uh, the um, um, Conor McGregor and uh, um, Diaz. Diaz? What was what? Our feelings? No, the 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 spread in Vegas. I think McGregor would came in as the favorite. I think I, I think he came right? in as the favorite. Yeah, and they they remember, right? though. But like neither one I don't of these remember the number. Neither one has like hype like oh, you know, Mark. that one they, did. They that one did. I, I think yeah, he's yeah, but, talking but, about this but one. But this one doesn't. So it's kind of like no. I don't know people are like <laughs> no, Brock Lesnar versus I Conor McGregor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, I've never seen it, but they're like, well, who's going to win? And everybody I've talked to is like I don't I don't, I don't know. Yeah. How about okay? So we did make some predictions, and we we can listen to this on uh, on Monday when it gets released. And Think the about fights will it, the though. fights will have happened by the time we and you watch this. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. It'll be. Can we we <laughs> we might have to go in and do some like audio editing to where we said, oh yeah, Brock Lesnar, and we go. I'm going to be mouthing Brock Lesnar, but going, more cunt. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to look like an asshole <laughs> on my own show. You know right. what I mean? Now it's going to look like one be of like, those Chinese kung boy, fu boy, movies. Boy, boy, fucking me up. Like, uh, we have to get a scoreboard or something for me and you. Damn, oh, boy, boy. Yeah, we have right. like a scoreboard of <laughs> wrong predictions. Nope. 
Every time you have a wrong prediction, you get a point. <laughs> that, I mean, that's how, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. So when we lose, we win. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, you guys. You can, know what I'm saying? I'm sure yeah. We could find some spot in the background. You can just keep a running tally for a season. Well, I'm sure we could. And I'll do your voiceovers. You do mine. We need to. Well, we need to <laughs> start Brock doing Lesner. it. Mark I want to start doing. Like, I would really like. It's hard to. I would really like to have some fighters on before the fights for AFC. But it's hard. I would it's hard love because to do that people, they're training. Yeah, the training. Uh, you know, people don't want to be on a show where there's booze around and they can't partake or whatever. Yeah. So and we'll drink water. I, I wanted to. Yeah. I, I tried to come on the show before the, yeah. that fight. Yeah. That, and that's the thing, too, for for the listeners. We invited him on before. Yeah. And he was very smart and said, I need to focus on training and everything else, which was very smart. The and reason we, being because when he was on the first time. He got schnookered. Yeah. And he, he had already won his fight. Yeah, so there was no fighting to happen, so yeah. I was all, we yeah. partied up. I a just want, bit. yeah, I just won. I was pretty much on cloud nine still. I really want to know. I really want to know if Al is gonna um, be willing to come on, and if he's, you know, he said he wasn't when we talked to him. At the no, fights. I mean, we just I need know. to figure out how to get a hold of him. But it's 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 funny, you know, how like when you talk to somebody, you're like, hey, you know, you know, we got this little podunk podcast. You want to come on and hang out or whatever, and and people are like, yeah, and then no show, <laughs> like you know what I mean? It happens, it's, you know, it, it happens, but it's you know. I would think though that in the in the AFC fight community, a lot of those you know, a lot of those guys know who we are. Yeah, and, and I want it to be like, now. No, okay, no, a no, lot. No, no, no let no. me go back. A few of those guys yeah. know who but, we are. And I want enough it to, to be, enough to where so. the crowd, you know, the crowd's like the whole crowd's like, what? Well, yeah, no, half of them are, or at least are going to be like, yeah, I've heard of them. We, Sarah was on it. Shane Man was on. Or yeah, me. exactly. And we we, we want to help Sarah that. out. So if we can do, what right. we can and we want to promote it. And we want to promote. We want to promote the fighters themselves. And I want to do it no matter win or loss. One person I really want to have on, which we need testimonials from you and Pop Billy. Uh, yeah, but yeah. well, another person that I'd like to have on uh, is Cookie Monster. Yeah, oh, yeah. Me I need too. to get that. I, like that. I need to get that dad guy story, man. I gotta <laughs> yeah. get his story. His his he, backstory would be uh, quite interesting. We're uh, we're buddies now on Facebook. He added me on yeah. his Instagram, so now mm-hmm. like I get to follow all this stuff. Yeah, I've been following him too. Actually, after the Land of the Midnight Sun, I friended him, and he wanted to come on. But um, we ended up taking a break and it didn't happen. But I think I, uh, I think I was also with with Kevin the um, oh, can't think of the the, the name uh, like Joe Rogan does um, commentating. Oh, uh, I think I commentated. His, oh, you're talking I, about Kevin? I think, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I commentated his first uh, Cookie Monster's first fight. Nice. You, we you comment, did? I com- yeah. We commentated I mean, with, with, with yeah. Kevin together. Yeah, we group. we did too uh, for one of his, ex, yeah, his last one. Twenty four. It was his yeah. last fight. Yeah. Nice, and it was uh, it was it was actually he did really good. I talked to him a couple times, time but it's always that. he's fighting or I'm fighting, so we don't yeah. really have time to talk. Yeah, but uh, he seemed pretty nice, dude. He seems like he lives a pretty simple, low key life, and which is great for a fighter. And he has he. I don't know if he's won. The, okay, so the first, since, the first fight, I, I believe he won. He did win. Okay, because I, I, I didn't. I the I, last three fights I've seen. But one thing, because he's been on the card the last three times, Midnight Sun. Oh, he was. Uh, he he got, was actually like four or five times last. Was it like in a row? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, the, I've seen him fight three times in a row. Yeah, and and just, that's what I'm saying is like damn it. he doesn't <laughs> rooting for him. Man. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't give up. Hell he's no. just he's he's still keeping going for it. And to me, that shows a lot too. Uh, I I know plenty. Well, I know two fighters who I, have who have just like okay, I've lost. I've lost enough. I just and hope it doesn't guy, end up like, oh, you, you're new on the scene. Well, fight Cookie Monster. I don't want that to happen. To him. No, you because because I mean? uh, yeah. he's a good game. Because he's actually, uh, the second to last fight he did. Wait, did he fight Land at the Midnight Sun? I believe. I thought he did. So yeah, then I it was. It did. wasn't that one. It wasn't the one before that. Uh, but it was the one before that. It Three was, fights ago. Yeah. He like went in there and I was like, oh, Cookie Monster is going to win. He's, and he just it, it was a I can't I think it was a submission. He got him on. But it was. Um, yeah. I, I yeah. Thought that he, weird I, he submission is like, what did it happen? Yeah. Yeah. Not really <laughs> quite sure what happened yeah. there, but I really I was I was going for him and I thought he was going to going to pull it off. But he's yeah. a cool guy. I mean, I mean, from I mean, I only talked to him a little bit, but yeah, I think. Yeah. But the, the talking I did, I was. Yeah, I, I like sure. him. I'd love to have him on. I'd so, love to have a lot of these, all you guys. You know, bring, who, bring on the yeah, whole stable. I wanna, Can you imagine this space, garage uh, full of fucking fighters in the audience? That'd be great. Two dudes up here, and then they just rotate in and out. <laughs> Dude, I like and that. And then fucking, there's fights breaking out, and people are peeing all over the <laughs> shit. It just gets all fucking crazy. We don't want urine. Alpha males. This dude. isn't a porn. He, he, Alpha he males. gets deep into his thoughts. Uh, well, Sorry about I that. Have the Let kill, me go back. I want to have the killer gorilla on. I would love to have a bunch of dudes, yeah. you know, in the fight world coming here, and we'll just fucking yeah. do a round robin like questionnaire. Him thing. and uh, uh, Novelli, they're both now signed with the UFC. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, actually, I ran. Into, I was walking in this. Uh, oh yeah, we were going to talk about that on the way in. 
on the way in. I saw him at the way in, and I I got to meet him. I was like, oh hey, how's it going? I mean, I, I met him before back when he was just with AFC. Yeah, he would never remember me, of course. But um, and he didn't. And I ran into him. I was walking down the. Compose yourself. Yeah, I was walking. I was walking <laughs> down cars or something like that, and I can't remember what story it was. He's coming towards me. And I couldn't quite tell if it was him or not until I got close enough, or maybe it was AIH or something. Anyways, he got close enough. He's like, "Hey," and I was like, "Like, just watched him walk by," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shit, that was Killer Gorilla." He, walked, like, he probably turned around. He's like, "Creeper." I know. Yeah, right. I was like, "Oh." Was like, hey. You didn't wink at him he or just, anything. You no, just, you I was like, him? "I was like, I was, I was like, you, you did the squinty eyes." Though, I did. Like that? Like I was what like, you're doing I, right I, now? I was like, I was like, I was like, I know this guy. You Clint Eastwooded yeah, him? Yeah, I Clint so, Eastwood. And then as soon as he passed by, I was like. Crap, I feel like a retard. So, uh, a- jump after, back after I won my... Go home. <laughs> <laughs> that was strange work. <laughs> after I won my title... I wish I had a grand tour. I had people like... I um, I would go to all the AFCs. I go to them anyways. But now that I'm the champion, now some people had recognized me, which is strange for me, right? Uh, and so they come up and talk to me. Hey, you know, what's up? And they, you know, immediately go into like, hey, you know, we should train together and do this and that. And I'm like, you know train yeah oh yeah i, I would sure, love to train but, i just take the first dude I, that comes up to me and says hey let's go train to go train with me <laughs> yeah you know but let's I'm, go buddy yeah exactly <laughs> yeah but i'm like right here right now right i'm now. like <laughs> i don't i don't know if we've talked before and i just am not remembering you or if you're a fan and, and i haven't seen you before or if i've just been punched in the head too many times i just have no idea because sometimes they'll talk to me and i'm like i want to be like who are you? But I'm like, oh, man, that sounds like an asshole. I'm going to keep uh, going with it. Hey, I do actually, uh, I believe it was the event in May. So that would be 123, I believe. Uh, Sarah gave me tickets for my birthday. Or was yeah, it yeah. The, was it the April show or the May show? She gave me gave us tickets to go see the show for my birthday. And you were there, but you were on the dry side because your designated driver forgot his ID or oh, yeah. was underage or whatever. Yeah, one of my... I didn't. I had forgotten all about the uh, age problem because I'm 31, so it's yeah, been so a while. You, so you were still in possession of your belt, and we were just, you know, on the floor. We walked up, oh, look, what's up, Sandy Pants? And we come, you come down to the gate, and we're standing there, and people were, like, walking down the thing, the, the yeah. risers to meet you. There were people on the floor going, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. so we it's, it's were fun actually for me. standing I there when it happened. Yeah, I like meeting so people. Booyah. I love meeting fans. Yeah. Uh, it As much as fun it is for them, it's an experience for me too, and it's super fun. And I try to take it all in, whether I have the belt or don't have the belt. Because I had people come up to me, you know, before I had the belt. They're like, "Hey, I like how you fight. You're fun to watch. I, or I like how you, you know, whatever." Mm-hmm. It's still fun for me. I just wish they'd be like, "Hey, I'm a fan." You know, so I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, gotcha." Okay, I don't all know right. if you listen to any <laughs> any 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 gangsta rap, but Tech Nine <laughs> has a song called "Fan or Foe," and in in this, he's like, you know, when you approach me. Can you tell me who you are? Are you a fan? Are you a fan? Yeah. I hear you talking, but I don't know if you're talking shit or you're being cool. He's from my home. <laughs> yeah. He's from my home state in Missouri. There you oh, go. Is he? Ma- yeah. Missouri. What? Missouri. 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 Yeah. Missouri. Just above Arkansas, west of Illinois. Above Arkansas. M- Missouri. <laughs> Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when he says it because like Missouri. 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 Not even Missouri. Uh, sometimes he's in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping on the Missouri. <laughs> is it nice there? I've never been Missouri. It's pretty nice. It really depends on where you go. Yeah. If you if you go to the south or you go uh, near Fort Linwood, where all the army guys, they're gonna tell you it sucks. Now you're you're like you're up here right now, Alaska. For people out of state, they don't love they don't it in know. Alaska, and he loves it. But he's gonna Hopefully move. Hopefully, it's in our description. Yeah. Read. Now, are you gonna be out before this this season? Out what? Are you gonna be out of Alaska before this next season for UFC? No, no. Uh, and I, are you gonna fight again? If all possible, I'll fight again. I would love, hint hint, to fight again against Al. But I understand. Rematch, rematch. I understand if it, if it's not going to be an immediate rematch. But uh, sure. I would love for it to, uh, especially considering I don't have a lot of time. Uh, but it's looking around December. I'm going to have to leave. I am still active duty in the military, so I don't get to just stay where I want to. I have you know a certain amount of time in certain places where, sorry, time's up, got to go. Right. So, uh, you know, it's one of the drawbacks. I do have a question though. Uh, that being said, that you don't have a choice on where you go when you get out. Do you know where you want to mm-hmm. return to or stay? Or? Yeah. So I've talked to I've talked it over, you know, with my family and whatnot. And your wife, uh, my wife. Well, I mean, my pa- my parents too. You know, oh, I yeah. mean, okay. everybody. His, his like, family. Hold on, yeah. I got to discuss Jesus. this with my baby. Absolutely. Yeah. Lifetime depression. Well, I'm hoping she'll be older by then, but you know. Oh yeah, probably. But uh, yeah. So. 
Wait, the, wait. So when you get out. Yeah. When you when you get out, where are you? Years, though? Where, where do you see years? yourself got, putting the roots down? I've been in about 12 and change. Holy years? Yeah. <laughs> Joined right. So you're plan, you're planning on retiring. Yeah. Okay. I I'm lucky enough to where I'm actually enjoying it. Right now cuz you're in Alaska. Well, I mean, I've had some pretty good bases. I've enjoyed it my whole career. Okay, good. So I mean, th- hey, America, America, military, <laughs> hoorah. God damn it. So overall it's been it's been pretty good enough to where I'm like, you know, I like being in and uh so but there's always some drawbacks, which I figure is probably going to there's always going to be some sort of drawback with whatever type of job I have. Uh Any job. It it happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah, so this December will mark 4 years for me. That's the length of my tour and uh Air Force said that we're overmanned for me for my career field and that I cannot stay. So I tried to stay. I wanted to stay, but I can't. So uh, I'm going to go on. I don't I don't have my listing yet, so I don't know where I'm going to go. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But as soon as I go away, I'm going to immediately try to come back. I don't know if it will happen, but if they're like, hey, you have to go do a year in Korea and then you can come back, I'm like, yep, sign me up. Let's go. So, so we get you- restationed here. But my question is when yeah. it's all said and so done. So when it's all said and done. Jeff and fam retired. Where are we going to put them down? Well, there's only two places so far that I've ever considered, and that's been at home with, you know, parents, grandparents, and everything. Missouri. 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 Yeah. And uh, (laughs) and here. Yeah. So I think it really is going to come down to is at the end. Well, it's not really number two. It's it's really comes down to, well, I'll take either one. Mm -hmm. I really like up here, though. Uh, Ah, there it is. but, But if I can't get a job here and I can only get one back home, well, I gotta pay bills. Right, there you go. Sure. I'll yeah, take that home. But if I could get a job here, is there a that'd be great. is there a scene in Missouri? Uh, for MMA? Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, I've been, What's more, I've like been more involved up here. Oh so yeah, but but I, did you fight there? I never fought there. Oh, I have you? gone back home, and when I've been on leave and stuff, I've gone training at local gyms there. Yeah, um, but up here right now, it feels a little bit bigger. Yeah, well, can you? Because there's the Midwest Fight League. Well, still fight mm-hmm. here. Yes, he can. I would Sarah, absolutely Sarah love can. to we have Sarah have me come back. We do. And fight we, while we've I'm had gone. Uh, that the the fight before the Midnight Sun, the very last. Oh, you got the Punisher. The he lives. In, we had the, the Punisher. Can't. He's from here, though. He, he's he from here, but he lives in California. And the guy who beat him was. Um, he has a podcast, actually, a pretty popular yeah, contest. Uh, the podcast. Gorilla. Of yeah. No, not, no. It was. Um, I always forget the hell it's called. I can't remember his name. We should hashtag it one time so I remember. We should hashtag it so he's like, oh yeah, these oh guys. those guys. <laughs> he, they've got like a thousand thousands of followers. Yeah, on but the they're but from Alaska, but based out of California. Based out of Is California, that how it goes? but um, and the guy that beat Platfoot, yes. yeah, Platfoot was from uh, nor up north, up north. I don't remember exactly where, and he was actually on their podcast before the fight. Right. You know, I've actually never met uh, Platfoot in person, but after wait, you lot, didn't meet him that last time he, when he was up here, when he got knocked out. No. Oh. <laughs> well, you just assume uh, that all you didn't meet all the fighters well, in the like, world when they were here. I mean, lots well, of times when, when I would meet them, I figured getting, he would have been at that one. Well, I, because I, it was I, a belt. I, fight. No, no, I, w- I was there, but oh. you know, before he's getting ready, so I'm not gonna talk to him then. And then he lost. Forget that, and, man. And he was walking around going, "I can't wait to drink me some booze. I'm gonna go knock this dude out. And we're gonna party." He's like, <laughs> yeah. "Strippers and cocaine." And I was like, "That's how I well, met him." I was like, "Yeah, I gotta sure. go to work tomorrow, bro." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hashtag Brian Platfoot. What's Brian up, dude? Platfoot, good, yeah. he, he did message me afterwards and just, you know, kind of like, hey, um, man, you know, it happens, you know, it happened to me, but, you know, just get back on your horse and, you know, and get up. up. I was like, yeah. that's kind of cool. That is cool. So, especially since we, like, we never, like, sat down and talked or anything. So, yeah. Dude, he's I, I've a- had, actually had a lot of people, uh, fellow fighters and fans and just other people I trained with in jujitsu. Uh, You're kicking our headphone cord around. My bad. <laughs> You're actually on it. That's why it keeps blinking. Ah, that would be. Yeah. So, uh, Platfoot, he's actually, when he comes up, uh, well, he says the next time he comes up here, he's going to go ahead and join us on the on the show. Um, if he's. He fucking better. Well, yeah, he better. But what I'm saying is if he comes, comes, it'd be great to have Come, a come, come. If he come, come, comes. <laughs> if he comes on the show. Uh, we'd like you to have. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that gets in there. Hell yeah! Those are my boobs for <laughs> but it would be really cool to have you on as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, so I mean, I, don't I know. have a great time when I come on. I this is, I love coming on. It's yeah. fun for me. Well, you love the, yeah. I love people that come on that like to talk. I hate it. <laughs> oh, I know you get the person on there. They're like, who is it? You, you who ask is an open-ended question. They're like, not even. It's good. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right up in the mic. I love them to death. It was fantastic. I love them to death. Uh, the roller derby girls. Oh, yeah. And like before. We're going to have them on again, too. Yeah, we do. Because before they were like, yeah, yeah, this is going to be rad. And then they sat down. And it was like, we're rolling. They're like. Yeah, microphones, cameras, <laughs> it was like, headphones. It was like. Did they oh, sit? Did they like, stare into the camera? No. Yes. Hey. Yes. Exactly. They like recovered that. very good. It was nice. Uh, they we did recover very Tiff good. Tiff and Wendy, you guys. Tiff and Wendy, you're coming back. Recovered. It For was sure. awesome. Actually, was that one of the uh, one of the first ones? Uh, it was our second guest, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seen that one too. The Destroyer oh, yeah, that dolls. That wasn't that bad. The Destroyer dolls. Maybe it was third or fourth. I can't remember. Nine. You know what's really crazy about about? Uh, God, I remember things by episode. I know it's crazy. Uh, about podcasts is like everybody's like like my buddy called me the other day. He's a big shot in in L.A. Oh, yeah, look at me. Was, no, he is. I'm not. Hey, that's cool. And he's like, and he's like, hey, how's the podcast going? I was like, well, have you been listening? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you know, <laughs> seriously? Yeah. What? No, I don't. I don't watch. Then why that crap. ask how it's going? Yeah, poor guy. He's going through some rough times. But he, he was, uh, yeah, he was like, oh, how's it going? I was like, well, you know, we got, you know, like four hundred likes. He's like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, it's not that great, but you know, it takes like two. It takes like a year or two. And or, that's just the podcast yeah. side. We, we, we haven't even really. We're on YouTube too. We haven't yeah. even got into that yet. If Poi Poi and I had more time, we'd be doing all kinds of stupid see, short ass videos. Yeah, see the problem looking like idiots getting hit in the nuts well, with a the tire. The problem is, is like we you know, both like, he, like that. he's about to be out of town for like three months. How long are you gonna be on? Right now it's looking like two months. So so Chris is is gonna be gone for two months. Poi Poi is gonna be all by himself for two months and we really don't know how that's going to work. We're going to we're going to try to, you know, we're going to we're going to keep doing it no matter what. Yeah. But um, I will make a blow up doll and put like a fucking Polaroid of my face. on Do it. it. And it well, just, uh, all it what, does what was is that? sit here and take up space. What was that movie? Uh, like I do Rockstar, now. Where they uh, they all practice band together because they were grounded and then they just video conferenced each other. I don't remember that. It had uh, what's his name that was on the office that played Dwight. I don't, I don't remember his real name. Are you sure it was Rockstar? Because Rockstar was with... No, uh, may not may not be Rockstar. Could have The Rocker, maybe. Oh, I know what he's... The, the rocker. rocker. It was The, the Rocker. Because yeah, yeah, Rockstar yeah. was Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. I was like, I don't remember yeah. them teleconferencing in the 80s. Huh? <laughs> but I... It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was in the, it was in the uh, ex, uh, ex, you know, director's cut. You didn't see that? Well, that's no, actually an idea Wahlberg. we're kicking around is um, I'll just fucking Skype in. Because I'll have internet up there. Yeah, I won't sure. have like cell phone service or anything, but I'll yeah. have internet. I'll just fucking... I'll Skype Toy Boy. there's not like an awkward delay where they say something. And you're well, if that and then happens, they move on, we'll have to you, uh, on. It'll be like, so Titty, how is it living in a camp full of dudes and no girls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's terrible. And then you're you on your next girl, question sorry. already. <laughs> we lost the yeah, connection. We click, click, fuck click. him. Yeah, we, <laughs> a text, text him on. This guy. isn't working. Out. I'm pulling the plug. No. Dude. <laughs> but it's it's rough too, you know, because we both got jobs. We, got, we I mean. We're not rich, so we can't, you know, we can't just take time Correction. off and do whatever we want. Correction. No, you're not rich yet. Chris has been, un- I mean, Titty, Chris, me. I've been unemployed for like four fucking months, yeah. so I have to take this job. There's no... Hold on. Sands are buds. But you guys live in Alaska. You don't just go on one of those reality shows or go pay in gold? Oh, shoot. They got it over in Nome, I think. No, they have no, a guaranteed no, gold. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know what's really crazy I don't even think that? any of them fucking dudes is, are from Alaska. No, no, no. I they are. swear to God, they're I not. Was at a, I swear I was at a party not. the other day. Actually, like a month ago, or they don't live here anymore. No, he was like, and and we're like sitting there talking. He's like, "Oh, you got a podcast?" I was like, "He's like, I was like, yeah." He's like, "Oh man, that's great. I'd love to come on and have some beers." I'm like, "Great, because that's what we do. We have beers and just rap." Excellent. We like this dude's and 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 we started talking more, and 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 I was like, "Well, what do you do?" And you know, he's like, he's like, "Well, I I gold pan." I was like, "Okay, you know, I mean, he's got a family and stuff, so he must be doing good out there with it." And he's like, well, not, no, I don't gold pan. He goes, I, I'm in the Bering, you know, the Bering Sea or whatever. And I, I do the, you know, the out in the ocean, the, you know, sucking yeah. up the dirt and trying to get gold out of it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, he's like, yeah, he goes here, check this out. And he's on the freaking gold, Alaska Bering Sea gold TV show. Had no clue. I'm, s- That'd be I'm great sorry. Did you just say show. that you got us locked up with some dude that has a fucking TV show that we're? No, gonna... he doesn't have a TV show. He's like, just... he, he was on it. You gonna be here? Yeah. No. That's, yeah. I, I, I thought I told you about that. Nope. No. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Easy mistake. Oh, you did Tip- not. My bad. Typical conversation. We don't communicate. <laughs> Honestly, we, but, we took a three week break and we saw each other one time. Yeah. But yeah, that is true. One it was time. a good one time. We are terrible brothers. But it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Is because it's like regardless of this dude being on a show or anything else, the dude's personality is off the hook. I mean, he's yeah. just like you or. Uh, like Sarah, you know, just willing to talk and sit down and chill, and that's what I mean. That's what it is. We don't like that scripted crap. Yeah, you, you can get that. No. On, you can get that on a morning show with Bob and 
Uh, Chad? Chad. Yeah. You can get that with Bob and Chad. Chad. You know, which is good. And, you know, radio has its spot, but it's going it, to... Well, because, I mean, all radio in the end, they, they're... Con- what controlled or whatnot? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they yeah. have to follow. Like, oh, got they to do, do advertisements. Oh, they got the FCC all up their asses. And you know they what? can't so, talk so about things being up asses, for they, example. They can't. <laughs> they can't say anything that Chris says. Nah. Or sometimes I slip. <laughs> uh, because I the, could never be on the radio the way I am now. I would definitely have to. No, 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 no. no, no, no I would have to go down. back to how I was when I was actually on the radio. So we the, were. So the first episode would just be. Beep. Yeah, we were on a radio show together, and then a deep breath, <gasps> which was the mosh pit and and. Titty show. Darkest hours with Mosh Pit Mosh, and Titty. Mosh, Mosh Pit and Titty. Mosh Pit. And, and I was titty. Evil Rick was yeah. my was my name. And I got kicked off the second the second time I was on because they had me doing a remote in at this coffee shop or bar I or don't whatever. Remember, yeah, you were covering and something for us. Yeah, and you guys were talking to me and I just cussed and it was like, Whoop, he's over and like they had to change my name and they had to oh, blah wow. blah blah. Yeah, we we, del- we delayed him a couple times, but it just got to like we're like uh, Yeah, yes, yeah. And then oh wait, maybe did we even delay you? I don't think we even delayed I you. Think you did. I don't think Mosh Pit liked that because we would say something and then it would feed back to us through the headphones and you know goes through all the board. Right, right. I think he actually had that shit off, which is why he he terminated the phone call because yeah. he didn't like the delay. So they had to by the time he hit it, you know, he's all fuck beep. Yeah, would <laughs> <laughs> be after the actual. Offense. But that's the thing too, is, you know, and it's like it's like if you go into the radio, if if you're not like already established as like some kind of celebrity or something like that. Like, cause Bob, he was, he was on a TV show, a kid's TV show up here. Yeah. I remember him talking about it a couple of oh times. Yeah. And I used to, right? I remember yep. he was, he was Kitty, telling a story Kitty about him and being and Kitty and, Fox. And, Kitty and Fox. Yeah. Or Kitty and the Fox or some shit like that. Um, and, but I loved it as a, I was a kid, dude, I grew up with Bob and like getting able to hang out with him and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Wanted to steal his job and oh, shit. Dude. And ah. I was like, that would be so rad. But when he got into radio, I was like, yeah, I could do radio. I could do that. But the problem is, is that you have one, you have to be established with doing something like TV or something like that in order yeah. to make money. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't really don't know how much cha- I make. A, I make a lot of money for what I do. I mean, not like like, you know, millions or anything, but but enough to yeah. where I feel pretty comfortable. And I there's no way I could like rules. quit my day job and go be a DJ, you know, yeah. DJ. Uh, fuck we can. I thought that's what we were going to do. <gasps> I oh, hope our wives don't listen to this episode. Mm. We were going to do a mobile DJ business, but having people on like like you on here and stuff like that, and just chilling and drinking—that's I mean, that's what's about. Man. And not well, even I have, not, can, well, can I, I say this. not even the drinking part? Drop even the drinking because we've done shows without the drinking, yeah. just chilling with well, people that like to have a conversation. A lot of I think that's is, you've said that. Mm. You've said that. Just a lot of this chilling is like people that want stuff I be doing with my buddies anyway. The only it, difference I was, is I wasn't drunk. <laughs> Sorry, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not drunk right now, am I? No, and well, I'm not either. The only difference between this and me normally is there's usually you should be outside with a campfire. Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god. Are you that enjoying would be this? Allowed. This summer has been great. Yeah, we had a couple rainy rainy spells there for a second, but yeah, I still was out. I was still camping. Dude, yeah. Is it beautiful I, up here or I've what? Oh yeah. What do you think what? about here versus Missouri? I, I can't. Does he say Missouri? <laughs> Missouri. 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 I'm getting my Missouri. Missouri. You take leave the up off. Leave the Missouri. You just sip into the Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> sip into the Missouri. So going to Missouri. So uh, up here is pretty amazing. I mean, compared to Missouri, it depends on what you want to see because there there are some things down there what that's pretty awesome. See? Like Missouri is known as the cave state, right? There's fantastic caverns and places like that. You go over a mile deep in the surface, just going in a cave, and it. It takes Wait, you in a car? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those special cars where you're <laughs> He's like, like... no, you walk jackass for miles. <laughs> well, I, that's what I was thinking. It's spelunking. That's kind of I what I was thinking, thinking yeah. too, actually. There's yeah. some fucking they, horror they movies use, that uh, start like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one, one, one of the... I don't remember which cave. One of them uses the Jeeps where they take the roll cage off and fold the windshield down. And then the other one uses specialized cars built for mining where they're super low to the oh, ground. yeah. And Wait, so are they on a track? No. Oh, I they're just, they're just special. Yeah, they're just special made cars that are... You know, automobile. And this they're, is in Missouri. Just, no, yeah. I thought you said cart. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah, my bad. No, that no, tea. no, that's crazy. So you go all. It has an outlet, right? No. Wait. So you get down to the bottom. You just turn around. Are Pretty these much. like? Are these upkept by the state? Um, or is this just something you find? I it? imagine I there's got to be some kind of anymore, standard. Because it's, it's been a couple <laughs> years. I don't remember if they're upkept by the state or if they're privately done. But uh, it's like kept, right? Oh yeah, it's it's, paved it's, and all that. Sort of. <laughs> well, okay. sort of well, they're not, they're here not, it is they're we're, we're OSHA and, and MSHA it. like OSHA is for like occupy, uh, general industry construction things like that yeah, yeah. MSHA is for mining specifically 
when things are in operation, those two entities don't fuck around with safety. So after the fact, and the mine is actually closed, whoever is keeping the mine up, whether it be uh, a national park or whatever, well, the thing is, I don't remember. They if these have were to mines go through before. something. Well, but unless there's a big sign, even if they're not mines, enter at your own risk. That's well, what that's I, what I was about to say. Is that I don't, you know, I don't, don't that shit too. <laughs> I don't think the, I think these were just natural. If I remember right, because I remember there was giant stalactites and stalagmites. They just you know, oh, so it wasn't some, actually some mines. They, it was just caves that were I natural caves. Because in Missouri, yeah, because yeah, almost the entire state. Well, I got confused. My bad. Is it magical? With, a, like, I mean, stalactites a, and, and good, stalagmites? A good portion of the state is made out of limestone. What's a stalagmite? And, and Which way wow. does it go, up or down? The stite is up. Or down. The stite. Stalag stite. Stalag tight. Tight is this yeah, way. because it's got to hang on tight. Yep. And, and then, then the mite's got to get mighty big. I knew about that. You know what we have? We, we did a... I did <gasps> it when I was younger. Okay, okay a look. A couple of these caves. But ahead. anyways... Pronunciation uh, with boy boy. If, if I remember right, I don't believe they were paved, but, you know, there was, like, gravel or some sort of rock where it wasn't too bouncy, and we just drove. And, so, okay, so it was, anyways, it was there, upkept anyway. Yeah, there was that, and there's like Johnson shut-ins, which is uh, the oldest lava flow in North America, if I remember right, and a water flow flows over it, and you can like slide down the lava, and it's just a whole bunch of natural water slides. It's, it's pretty awesome. So is, what's the – is that me? That's not me. Wow, look at that. Missouri Caves. Holy crap. Yeah, that's some pretty cool Wait, ones. so this one – look at that. I don't know where my phone is. That's got a uh, like a walkway. Is that the Ozarks? Uh, it is. Ozark. Man, I had no idea that was in Missouri. I thought Missouri was like for a bunch of losers. So, so the state changes so dramatically to where you go. A lot of the so a lot of okay. these ones are in the middle to lower section. The northern section is just big, huge rolling hills that have been. It looks like you just crushed them all together, so they go up and down very dramatically. So very very steep, you know, high peaks and low valleys, but very close together. And then the middle is kind of flat, and then the bottom. Catches a little bit of the mountain range coming off Tennessee, and the rest of it is yes. like clay so and you rock. So you get like a ton of, you're just huge, diverse. Yeah. So have you been here? Yeah. I want to spelunk. Is, this, is it warm I want to go spelunking. No. Uh, they're usually, if I'm like right, right, they're normally right around like 57 or 60 degrees. How deep down? Uh, like in this area? Uh, I think maybe that one's half a mile. And you walk. Or are you driving down and then you get out and walk in here? Depends, I'm, I'm going to post it depends this. On, it depends on which cave. I don't, I don't okay. remember. Oh, so there's like multiple caves. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. Look there. at that. I had no idea this that stuff like this was in Missouri. Yeah. Can I come visit? Absolutely. I'm hey, coming. When you, uh, when You're when you coming right hey, now? Hey, right. If, you do, hey, if you do come, so my, my wife's family. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we don't have nice Have things. another drink. Yeah, that's why we don't have nice things. <laughs> so if I do come. So if you do show up there. Show up. All right. Arrive. <laughs> Uh, my wife's family, uh-huh. uh, I believe it's her uncle, owns Bias Winery, and they own, they own a winery, and they may also make their own beer. What? What? Yeah. Why would you want to move out of Missouri? I mean, come well, on. I mean, Alaska's pretty, still pretty damn awesome. It's pretty awesome. Because even, even if I moved out, I still can go back and visit. That is true. But we don't have, we don't have anything next to anything that cool up here. That is rad. Well, Have you been to the mines up here? The, the what's that? What is it called? Uh, the uh, old mining town that's abandoned. Oh, um, uh, McCarthy. Yeah. Which one? Uh, no, that's on my list. I watched the YouTube show um, Expedition Overland, mm-hmm. and uh, that's kind of like what I enjoy doing on my off time, whenever I'm not fighting or not in the military. Going up and exploring. Yeah. So I have I have a jeep and I have a rooftop tent, which has been awesome. And I saw it. We and we saw a dude when we went up to the hot springs this last time had the exact same tent and I was like, "That's rad." Is that the it. the tent that like it I, like peels off the side? Yeah, I, I saw but, one. Yeah, okay. my, one, uh, this one I saw was in the bed of a truck. This guy like just no, this is like on the top of, of so, the bed of his truck. So this one can be. Um, I know which one you're talking about. That one is specifically for a truck and it it latches on the sides and the tailgate goes out and it uses all the space. Mm-hmm. This one is, uh, um, the one I have is made by Smitty Built and. Uh, one of my fight sponsors, Trail Toys and Wasilla, that he just got all these in. So Kevin calls me. He's like, hey, he's like, hey, I got those in that you've been wanting, you've been asking about it for a while. I went ahead and I got them in. I was like, oh, sweet, let's let's do this. So uh, he got me my roof rack and everything I needed, so that way I could be set up to go explore and whatnot. So which has been great because as much as I loved my pop up, I can't take it off of the road. Yeah, you See, can take your Jeep down any trail. Yeah, right? I can, my Jeep goes pretty much everywhere I want to go for the most part. I mean, I. 
I'm not going to go through the ocean or anything ridiculous, right? But, you know, or super <laughs> People deep. People have mo- tried. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so I, you I, I go through family? a lot of places. What's that? You go up there with the family? Yeah. Okay. I was like, we should, like, do a dude well, thing I go, and go I, up there. Like, I go out to, uh, like, Hatches Pass all the time. Oh, yeah. Like, way back there. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, the, now the Jeep with the rooftop tent. It's allowed me to do that. So now I can go back there and not be like, oh, you know, it's kind of getting late. We better okay. go ahead and yeah. like, No, we we can just camp here. Yeah. You know, so, and I don't have oh, to I worry. bet the family loves that. They're like, oh, uh, we can just go no, home, Jeff. Dude, you're like, kids, no. Nope. Kids love that. <laughs> nope. Suckers. No. If your wife's into it, you've got it made because uh, uh, the, the kids, no matter what, I, I, my kids have never been like, oh, I don't like, they want to stay in a tent. They don't want to stay in the oh, pop-up. Yeah. We had, we drove a Class A motorhome one year and they're like, can I stay in the t- a tent? And I'm like, what's wrong with you? I got <laughs> I spent a lot of money on this. You, yeah. you know what it is? Okay. This. You know what it is? As, as a kid, when you, your your parents have a motorhome or a pop up or whatever, you're in that thing with your parents. When you're at home inside with your parents, your parents. it's yeah. just so like being at home. Well, that's like so. Yeah, yeah sometimes hey, at home, I got a pop up. I'm fucking comfortable I got watching a pop-up too. watching my uh, watching my stories. Yeah, you have a tent and you can go over there. Yeah. Yeah. You go well, over like, there because uh, I want peace too, you little yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a padded bed. I don't want to sleep on the ground. Right. Some, sometimes on Friday Have an nights, air mattress. To, for my son, like if he's been you know particularly good or something, uh, I'll set the temp up in the living room. Oh, we, I, we do that too. Aww. Yeah, and, and then yeah. I just angle it so it can watch the TV or whatever. We just build a fort. All three of my kids. We, we do that. We I do love that building too. forts. All three of my kids got pers- personalized kid tents, oh, and cool. they put put them all up in the living room. It blocks the space pretty well. But they'll go in there and, and, like you said, with the tent over, you know, watching the movies and stuff. And they want to do it outside, but I don't. Those tents they're not really built built for outdoors, so I have to put up an yeah, adult one, and it's kind of a pain like in the a, butt. Children's, yeah, pretty much. But they love it. Do anything that has to do with camping and being outdoors, they love. We we went up to the hot. Have you ever been to Hot Springs, China? Um. So yeah. So before this fight that I had, I had just got back from TDY from Guam, which mm-hmm. by the way was amazing. It was, oh, I bet. It, it was really was cool. But I got back and uh, I was gonna feel bad for you, but now I don't. Not, yeah. at, all. Not at all. So well, kind of deserve to get beat. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just I got was, back from Guam. Oh, well, yeah, it, was it wasn't amazing. just me chilling on the beach. Uh, okay, I was uh, I was in mop gear and I was having to do hard manual labor. Okay, I never mind. I feel better. actually that day I, just because I was like, all right, it's you know whatever percent humidity and it's really hot. I was like, I'm gonna weigh myself morning yeah. and I weigh myself at the end. With drinking water all day, I lost 11 pounds. Wow. How many? 11. That's a good cut. Wow. Yeah, I was like, that's probably why I'm so tired right now. Yeah, for sure. So, But it, it was a good kind of tired because we felt accomplished, you know, because we yeah. fin- finished everything we needed to do. But I got back, and we planned to go up to Dead Horse. So I drove all the way to Dead Horse in my Jeep, and it was amazing. Yeah, Absolu- right Absolutely. Do you like that highway? Yeah, it really wasn't bad. And I used to have to check, drive up check that Check this for out work. for Lucky. It's pretty fun. Not one mosquito the whole way up what? or back. Because you what? were in your car. <laughs> no, no, we, well, we, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Anytime that we saw anything cool, yeah. like, hey, look at that bridge. Wait, when was Nothing. it last year? No, no, it was no, it's, May. It's, it's, yeah, May. It this before, May? Yeah, it was yeah. before the before About, the, uh, about three weeks out before the fight. fight. Because I was like, well, so, I, got, I got one okay. weekend. Wow. I was like, I'll just take two days or three days. Yeah, three days. I was like, we're just going to go up. We're just going back. So we went up. We spent one night going up. Uh, hiking around in the woods, yeah, a little bit. Getting, and then uh, I was gonna say because I was hiking around in the woods. Got, up got there, to and I uh, they got was to hungry. <laughs> dead, <laughs> they were hungry. <laughs> we got to dead horse. I cut six pounds. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Saw some muskox up there. Cut water that was pretty sweet. <laughs> seen some muskox. Never seen oh, them before. Yeah. And well, then, you can go uh, to the zoo and see muskox. I'd never seen them. Oh, there you go. Whoa. So it was cool. <laughs> and then uh, we know we up there. So then we once we got up there, we're like, all right. So there's not much up here, and we you know we we walked inside. And there's they're like, nothing they're, they're like horse, dude. yeah, there's not much up here, but uh, there's some food, and there is a gift shop. I was like, two things I want. All right, and then, I, I think <laughs> food I think, gift shop. Gonna oh, go and camping. Food things. and overpriced oh, I, hats I think, at I think, sale. I think we did. Uh, yeah. I think we bought a shower. Oh, because okay, that, yeah, because yeah, I was like, well, you know, we've been a couple of days. I was like, yeah, that's worth it. So you don't uh, want to start stinking. Need so anyway, it's kind of refreshing and whatnot. So uh, we spent about five there, five hours there, and they were like, so, all right. Well, Let's go. <laughs> so did you drive up to China at all? Yeah. So on the way back, uh, we we were going to stop by Manly Hot Springs, and we get there, <laughs> so, and we were like – Bring it around. We were like uh, – we weren't sure if there was enough – if there was a gas station there. I didn't have internet reception. My map didn't tell me. So I was like, I don't know. So we'll just go ahead and go to China Hot Springs. 
So we went ahead and uh, just drove to where we knew there would be gas yeah. or fuel, and uh, we drove out there, and that was amazing. It was pretty it's cool. beautiful, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of people go up there, and they're kind of disappointed because some of the hot springs that they have down in the States and stuff, they're actually – a lot nicer. More resorty. And, yeah, more resorty. It's like type. a spa. But, yeah. but Come bathe in the mud. Nowhere else. Blah, can, blah, I mean, blah, blah. You're, you're in the literally the middle of Alaska, actually a little bit north of the middle of Alaska. And in the winter is the time to go. That's their, actually, that's their busy season. So yeah. when there's Don't they have the ice the ground, hotel? They do. And actually, yep. I've been in there a couple times. My dad. Did you I, go in the ice hotel? I did only because I plan on going back. And when okay. I go back, I want to bring my wife. So I, I tried to save a couple activities to yeah. be a first time for me. When so, she was around. So they've had people stay the night in the ice hotel. Yeah. And the only person that made it the whole night, the guy was telling us while we were there this last time, was some 50-some-odd-year-old lady who was crazy, and she dressed up in a, a blue dress, and... Um, <laughs> She like stayed in their whole like Titanic style, no, like weird no. shit. Like, oh, my husband no. and I died on a glacier once. <laughs> like frozen, <laughs> like frozen. Yeah. And she went in there and she stayed up the entire night, spinning around, singing the frozen song, "Let It Go." You've never let done it that? go. No, let it so I mean, I've done hotel. that, but so not in a nice hotel. Nobody's ever actually spent the night. Like, she full. did. That's it. She was spinning around like a crazy person. I, I, see, I but she go. didn't sleep. Well, maybe she did for a couple seconds. I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, uh, what do they call it? Uh, random brain right. shutdowns? Or I know what I got to do now. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she, she, don't. No, <laughs> so apparently they could hear her throughout the night singing. Okay, Maybe she just I, had really high blood be... pressure because people with high blood pressure. like No, okay. like she showed up in the Elsa shit. dress. See, I know. I have girls. Shit, I'm sorry. She showed up in the Elsa dress and spun around saying, let it go, let it, let go, it go all night. Crazy. Uh, Can't it hold it's, it back anymore. It's $600 a night to stay there. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> well, never mind. I was, I was like, $600 well, I was a night like, no, to no, stay no, there, no, no, but no. nobody can no, it's, stay I'm there. I'm sorry. It's 600 nights to stay in the ice hotel. Six not nights. to stay at China. $600 like, a night to stay in a hotel that you can't China physically you stay can't in. And then... Yeah, I, was like, no, I, was like, I was like, I thought it was like 15 or 20 bucks when I went in there. Did I pay more and I didn't realize it? <laughs> no, it's 15. You went to the Springs. He's talking about the It's town. $15 oh, to go into the ice hotel, but it's... And to take a tour and drink a martini out of they, it's really cool, man. They get these uh, ice martini glasses that they make. Yeah, and and it's it's cool. They serve oh, that you. reminds me. Uh, when I was what are we? I at? was stationed oh, in Europe crazy. before here. Oh my god! Hmm? And uh, we have, there was an ice bar. You get shots and beer out of ice glasses. Oh, go to yeah. Coots. Go to Coots. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't know if they serve you in like ice glasses. We want to mm. keep going, but if we go over a certain amount of time, then our audio gets all jacked up. I uh, got gotcha. because we still haven't got it. But hey, thanks for coming on, man. I had this a blast. has been really fun. I really well, uh, ne- so next time we won't have the break, right? And uh, yeah, so we'll be all organized, and then we'll we'll just well, you know, have fun again. I, you know what? Even if there is a break, I don't really don't care. Poi 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 is going to be able to run this show without me, and then it's just going to be break phase with Poi Poi because <laughs> he's going to realize that I don't need titty for this. Uh, when I when I leave for this two months, I, think so. I do need. And when I, I leave this two months, oh, dude, no, you're going to be like. I got this. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't I've got the code to his garage. I don't need him. I, I can't. I, I, I can't throw out the cusses. I can't do it. Oh, yeah. You know, that I, doesn't I, make the show. No, it, no it, it's my offset. Okay. It's You're my just, white knight. You're my booby. Can I be a dark knight? You'll be my dark knight. You're dark knight. Dark knight. Well, hey, thanks for coming on, bro. Hey, I had a blast. All right. We're going to do a really easy one. One, two, three. Break <laughs> Peace out. Wow, you weren't even in on that. I don't know. You waved we'll, at the we'll, camera, though. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Okay. Go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I uh, made another I'm podcast. Not it. You do it by yourself, and then we'll go. Break face. Bye. <laughs>